You know, I think what we've been talking about really since June is the idea that the global systemically important financial institutions are having a real liquidity crisis here. And you know, when you look at the Eurozone, now seven Eurozone systemically important financial institutions are down more than 40%. 40% from their 12-month peak. And we're hearing nothing about this from the ECB. How important is the price to book as a measure of what the market thinks well, of these companies? Well, normally the price to book is really, really very critical. And you look at it someone should like... Be one, and, it? and it, it should, should be, be one. one. And when you look at something like Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank is down 55% from its 12-month peak. And Steve, I think you had the statistic on the price to book. Uh, yeah, look at us. <laughs> We've done this before. Uh, 0.27. 0.27 the price to book and that means the market thinks roughly it's but uh, its value is really a quarter of what they say it's worth and their you know, assets so, are worth. so you know the clue is in the name Deutsche Bank will survive Deutsche Bank but it will not survive in its current form well, and you know so far we have seen almost nothing from the ECB from policymakers generally and indeed at this stage looking back at 2006 2007 when the eurozone banks the banks as a whole are already down 30 percent from their peak and at this stage the Fed had already cut 250 basis points to try and ease some of those the liquidity pressures. The question is how long we have to wait for any consolidation of Deutsche Bank. And Annette has had a go at this time after time after time, reporting the story. Third largest shareholder. You know, now? there's so many obstacles but, but in the way. Now, Every time she comes, not, as she points out. This is out. not about idiosyncratic risk in Deutsche Bank. <laughs> this is about systemic risk in the eurozone financials. And you know what we know is that the eurozone financials are at the heart of the global derivatives business that has been critical to the whole dollar transformation process. And you know for us, that dollar liquidity story where there's now $12 trillion of dollar denominated debt in the world, twice as much as there was just after the credit crunch, that is the critical risk here. And you know what we hope is that we will start to see TLTRO coming out from the ECB that we will see swap lines being activated because something very serious is happening here and it is completely flying under the radar screen. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.